It's happening again. <laughs> <laughs> the White House that keeps on giving. Joe Biden's White House keeps on giving. And I'm here for it, man. I'm here for it 100%. Have you guys seen the latest stunt that happened during Pride Month? During v Veterans Day, they don't put no flag up. But during Pride Month, of course, they are there representing virtue signaling. Why are they caping for these people so hard, man? Why are they caping for these people so hard, man? And now, one has gone on there to take a shirt off. To show some tits in the White House. Think I'm joking? You think, oh, you, okay. Well, you, <laughs> you're going to learn today. Welcome to the White House. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Year. Happy Pride Life. Yeah. That's so good. Why are they caping for this? Why? I don't. <laughs> Joe Biden is like a, it's, it's, it's like one of those those dolls. You just twist and twist and twist and twist and put them out there. <laughs> just they tell him what to say. They pump him up full of drugs and just goes like a zombie. Happy bad month. Happy death. You heard. <laughs> He's just a puppet. He doesn't have a thought of his own. Joe Biden was he's like 80 something years old. You think he believes in any of this movement? It's trendy. They're trying to get votes. That's all what this is about. Transgender children. You are beautiful. You are heard. You belong. You're understood. You are loved. And you belong. All this empty mantra that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's comical. Politics is comical. It, 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 it's just theater, man. It's it's theater. This is where just it's all a, it's all a show. Some of the bravest and most inspiring people I've ever known. I mean, you're welcome. I guess you're brave. You cut your dick off. Yeah. You're brave. <laughs> oh, it takes balls to do that. No pun intended. Can we take a little video? Hi, Mr. President. It is an honor of trans rights and human rights. I think that's the one that took a shirt off. That's a man. Well, a woman. Oh, it's okay. More. That could fool someone, man. That could really fool some guys out there, man. You have to be careful out there, man. These transformers will get you. Uh, that's right, man. Bless you. Are we topless at the White House? Bless you. And I fully support the movement in freeing the nipple because why is my chest now deemed inappropriate or illegal when I show it off. However, well, a biological woman, I don't think would do that. Not, not, not in the White House. Come on, come on, bro. Why is depravity synonymous to this rainbow movement? Why, why do you guys have to be pervs, man? It just can't be in the rainbow coalition without being perverted why would anybody want this in their country uh, imagine this happening in Saudi Arabia or so or in Malawi in some country in Africa these people are going around trying to push on this movement and everybody else but why would any country want this when they, they see what happens when you give them a, an inch they take a mile and next thing you know you have grown ass men with muscles shaking their silicone ass in your king's palace or something. Before coming out as trans, it was not. All you're doing is affirming that I am a woman. All you're doing <laughs> is saying that trans women are women. That's not what they're doing. What, they, what they're saying is it's inappropriate. Well, if you didn't know, she got banned from the White House because of that. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, they did that? They banned her? Oh, that, that was a shock to me that they banned her from the White House because I'm like, there's nothing these people can do that it would actually get reprimanded for. So for this to happen, I'm like, whoa, Biden White House did this? 
They banned her from the White House, so they went too far? This is too far for them? Hmm. All right, so it's good to know that, that there's a limit for the Biden administration. <laughs> This is comical to me. I, I, I say this all the time. I feel like we're leaving in the South Park episode. You can't tell me otherwise. This is a bloody simulation. We're leaving the... Oh, man. Because for some reason, people like to sexualize women's bodies and say that they are inappropriate. People meaning you. My trans masculine friends... If you have to put trans in front of something, it means it's not real. You can't say you're a real woman when you say you're a trans woman. Or you say you're trans masculine. Masculine people are just masculine people. Men are just men. Trans men. When you put that in front of it, it means you're not that. You're a different version of that, but you're not that. We're showing off their top surgery scars and living in joy. And I wanted to join them. And because it is perfectly within the law in washington dc i decided to join them and cover my nipples just to play it safe laws can be inappropriate too there were laws back then that you know they could sell black people doesn't mean it was moral but it was a law so you can't say because the law in washington doesn't ban people from showing going topless it doesn't mean it makes sense or it's moral you just don't do it Oh, God. Huh. When is the trumpet going to sound, man? Let's just end this, please. Please.